Uh, Patra chutton, I all right. I call it Patra chutton and, and stuff. But what I do is I, I I'm not a road hunter. I don't shoot them from the road if I see them. I just drive by them, have a nice day. But I know they're in that area, so when I decide to hunt them the next day. I get out of my truck and I go in the woods because I want to learn what what they're uh, doing uh because after you shoot one you know you can see what they've been eating in in the gullet right here uh grouse guys uh and i've heard the terminology they they got dogs they got dogs they got the the little bells on them and ding 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 and uh i i i like the more quiet solitude of of the hunt I get to learn to grouse. The dog, on the other hand, gets to learn to grouse. You know, I had never heard of partridge the way they use it around here till I came up here. And uh, it's kind of one of those interesting things about hunting is there are different regions and traditions of areas you go to, everything can be different than where you've come from. I feel like there's way more birds on that side. I'm going on that whole deeper you go. But one theory. I speak highly against the deer hunting. I think it's relevant right now. Up here, it's a very uh, salt of the earth style of hunting. Very um, low key. You know, guys walking along, flushing the birds themselves. No dogs to do the work. So we started grouse crossing before where I was parked, like closer to a camp. What if we park somewhere like that and just work the whole side all the way back to Spur, that Spur Road? How long have you been hunting these mountains? Since I was 16. And I find all these areas by walking. I've been over the, that mountain. And when that's Crystal Mountain, you would, uh, Get on the backside, and a nice logging trail that goes up it, and then logging trails that slash it like this. Birds, a lot of them. Spending the time up in the mountains really makes me want to come back. New Hampshire just being on the ground with the guys working the brush it's just such a unique experience from deer hunting and even bird hunting with dogs you know it's working together as a team is putting your knowledge to the test of do you know where they're gonna be can you can you take all the evidence you have and make a hypothesis to figure out where those birds will be and you got to keep that self-doubt out of your mind and keep pushing forward to, to, to make it happen. You know, it's, it's on you. There's no dog to pick up the slack to help you out. It's on, you know, you and, and the other guys out there. It's about being a team. It's about working together. It's about, you know, that, that bond as hunters we all share. That when we're in the woods... We're all in it together. What do you got for jokes in there? Improved and modified? Yeah, that's, that's the way to go. That's the funny thing about hunting. You never get to do any shooting. <laughs> you know, to be a partridge hunter, you got to be a little bit crazy.
because yeah. you you yeah. just keep trying to stack the odds against yourself to make everything more difficult. You know, first you're taking away the dog. You now, you know, by hunting up here in the mountains, you're taking away, you know, ease of travel. There's blowdown everywhere, inclement weather. You gotta look for the spots, beat the brush, beat yourself up a little bit, tearing through thorns and prickers, getting whacked in the face with branches. Really try making it about as difficult as you can make a shot. And now you're taking all this, the, the difficulty of the shot, the difficulty of the terrain, and the fact that it's just you against the birds. And now you gotta pull off this seemingly incredible, incredibly difficult feat all at once. But that's what makes it so satisfying. That's what makes it so much fun. You know, it's pulling it off, doing what seems to be impossible. And sometimes you might think to yourself, you know, I don't think this is gonna work out. I don't think this is possible. I don't think there's anything in here. And just then, boom. I was up on top of one of these mountains. It was raining out. Nice, slow, drizzle type rain. And I look underneath one of these mushroom gaps. There was a grouse standing under it. <laughs> I left him over there. Definitely spend more time up on bird hunting in the future. I would love to come back to these mountains with these people and experience this again. There's something about hunting birds on your own that I think once it gets in your blood, it stays there. You're a better hunter when you come off the mountain. You know things you didn't know before. You surround yourself with great people in a great place. You're gonna have a great experience. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. Could be once in a lifetime.